Hey everybody, welcome to another video by Planes Over It and we are continuing with our A320 series. I think by the end of this week uh, we'll be able to complete um, most systems on the A320. Of course, they are the basic ones and uh, disclaimer remains the same. Do not use any of this that you're learning on the course in any practical application. Always refer to your manuals and FCONs. So we are continuing and we're doing pneumatic today. Uh, so in short pneumatic is the system on the aircraft which is supplying you know air and the pneumatic system supplies high pressure air for the following systems air conditioning engine starting wing anti-icing water pressurization hydraulic reservoir pressurization okay and uh, the sources are three sources the engine systems itself the apu bleed and the uh, high pressure ground connection when you are on the ground if the airport has a certain facility like every other uh, facility uh, like every other system uh, on the airbus uh, aircraft uh, there's a computer so the pneumatic system also has computers and they are called uh, bmc bleed monitoring computers two in number and uh, the other controls are over uh, overhead control panel the ecam control and uh, that operation that monitor the operation of the pneumatic system now we'll talk about the bleed system and uh, the aircraft has two similar engine bleed systems so basically one on the we'll discuss the engine one bleed so it will be similar to the engine two bleed system so each pmc re receives information about the bleed pressure temperature and the valve position that's the bleed valve position very important if one bmc fails the other one takes over most of the monitoring functions most of the one is important because it's not the that uh, both have similar functions bmc1 has some certain functions that bmc2 cannot take over each bleed valve is pneumatically operated and controlled electrically by its associated bmc pneumatically operated it means that only when if there is pressure on the downstream of the valve only then the valve will open otherwise it will not even though it is electrically open okay the normal pressure that's maintained is 45 plus or minus 5 psi and uh, important point here is it is generally taken from the intermediate pressure stage of the engine to minimize fuel penalty okay now at low engine speed when the intermediate pressure itself is low then it moves to the high pressure stage bleeds air from the high pressure stage and maintains it at 36 plus or minus 4 psi so normally it is from the ip stage and the most important point in the bleed system the pneumatic system is the leak detection is disregarded during an engine start so when you start the engine the, there is no leak detection provision and apu leak detection is lost if bmc1 is lost this is what i was talking about the difference between bmc1 and bmc2 one bmc fails the other one takes over most of the monitoring functions except that apu leak detection is lost if bmc1 is lost so BMC1 has the APU lead detection function, whereas the BMC2 does not. Now, this is the diagram which is important. It is a, a description of the pneumatic system, which we will discuss. Now, considering engine 1 here, it is normally from the IP stage. And uh, in case of a low, uh, you know, low, when your low speeds are low, it this HP valve opens and the HP stage is into, comes into picture. Now bleed valve, this is the most important valve here and uh, here you have closing criteria. So the bleed valve will close follow, uh, on the following conditions. If there is a reverse flow, suppose the flow should be like this but due to some reason the flow is coming like this, then there will be closure. And the other reasons are electrical closure of the control via the BMC is if the starter valve is not closed, if the engine has shut down, then the bleed valve will of course shut. If your bleed valve is opening, then also this will go. Over pressure, overheat, any leak has been detected, then the BMC will shut down the bleed valve. And another, uh, this thing is the fire push button. If you press this handle that's on the overhead panel, it will also shut down the bleed valve. This is in the air conditioning panel, uh, engine one bleed, where if you just, it's a push button, if you push it off, it will of course close the bleed valve. And here you have your overpressure valve just to check the pressure to keep it in the range and engine one starter which goes into the engine. 
and uh, here we have the three sources as you could see i already discussed the engine there's a ground supply in case you are on the ground and connected to it and there's an apu bleed supply as well and cross bleed valve is what i'll talk about in the coming slide and engine 2 bleed system is same as the engine 1 bleed system it's the similar function what are the components that are used wing anti ice is used pack 2 for the right one hydraulic reservoir water tank water tanks and hydraulic reservoir if there's a cargo heating pack 1 wing anti ice from the left engine okay so let's talk about the cross bleed valve now cross bleed valve as you can see here is what i was talking about it is a valve it's a cross bleed duct that allows air supply systems of the two engines to be isolated or interconnected so it's a valve between the engine number 1 and engine number 2 and it just helps you to either isolate it or connect the both engines supply always remember the apu and the ground is towards the left of the bleed valve it's very important in terms of you know when you have leak uh, leak associated failures on the air conditioning panel a rotary selector controls the cross bleed valve electrically this is what it looks like it has three positions shut auto and open uh, obvious it seems very obvious shut is it is sh shut open is the cross bleed valve is open we have to discuss about the auto function now the auto auto function if the rotary selector is on auto the cross bleed valve will open when the system is using apu bleed okay and it closes if there's a air leak detection except during engine start as the condition was earlier so just remember when the cross bleed valve selector is on auto it will open when apu bleed is being used to you know have apu bleed on both the sides but if there's a leak detected on either side it will go to shut to isolate both the systems of the engine 1 and engine 2 so that if suppose engine 1 is leaking engine 1 side this side left side is leaking this will go shut so that it doesn't uh, let engine 2 bleed to get leaked through this side so that is what will happen but this will not work x during the engine start okay so i think that's all about pneumatics just remember it's a it's a small system it is just providing air to the respective systems that need bleed so thank you for watching guys subscribe to the youtube channel and like the facebook page for regular updates give the video a thumbs up if you like this video do not forget to share it too comment below if you have any doubts i i can be reached on any of the links and whatsapp number here and uh, thanks for your support guys uh, i've hit 1500 subscribers on youtube it's all your love and support thanks a lot have a great day bye bye take care see you on the next video i think we will be doing maybe fuel system or fire depends bye bye